Hello, 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 my Nigerian people. This is the full jackpa, jackpa of the biggest. Hello. Where are the carpenters? Where are the welders? Where are the plumbers? Good news for you guys. Finally, Nigeria. It's time for our carpenters to move. Oh, it's time for them to jackpa. Let me sing first. Gume, bobo salopwa. Gume, bobo salopwa. Come on, dance for me. Oh, salopwa, Nigeria. Ah, ah. Oh, salopwa, Africa. Gume, bobo salopwa. Africa. Oh, Salobwa, Nigeria. Finally, finally, finally. Canada is calling for carpenters, welders. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Plumbers and what have you. We are all celebrating here because, I mean, it shouldn't be those who are tech corps. Those who are doctors, those who are nurses, registered nurses, those who are teachers, those who are engineers. This time, they are calling for carpenters, welders, and plumbers. Honestly, since August 1st, Canada has finally announced that they want plumbers, carpenters, and, and uh, welders from Nigeria and other countries as well. But I am so, so, so happy. This is time for people to do the, the Liga Jakba. No more dying inside war. No more going to Libya, trying to cross to Europe. Those things are now obsolete. And you know how I do, guys, they are best in furniture making. They are best in furniture making. We have guys that were trained by Bobo Shodi. We have guys that were trained by any boss. We have, I mean, we have guys that were trained by Mohammed Furnitures. We have Tons of them along Boba Slope. We have some at Ruby. Just name it. This is the time for us to show our skills. Please, never you travel illegally. Please, 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 don't do it. Don't do that. Don't bother about your educational background. If you don't have the kind of educational background that will match your skill, when you get here, they're going to train you. They are the ones calling for plumbers. They are calling for plumbers. They are calling for welders and carpenters. So, ladies and gentlemen, so many bloggers have carried the news already. And the best one we saw online now is uh, Pulse Nigeria. I think it's uh, their Instagram page. Rekia is going to read directly from Pulse Nigeria. So, I acknowledge Pulse Nigeria. And then we are going to do some... Uh, Readings from Post Nigeria directly from their Instagram. So, Rekia, please, can you read it for us? Canada has opened a new immigration pathway for welders, plumbers, carpenters from Nigeria and other countries. Okay. In a statement by immigration, refugees and citizenship. Canada, IRCC, on Tuesday, August 1st, 2023, the North American country announced a streamlined pathway for skilled workers with specific expertise in cabinetry, plumbing, and welding. The Canadian government explained that it's prioritizing prioritizing the invitation of skilled newcomers with experience in trades to help meet the increasing local demand for talent and fill positions that have direct effects on economic growth and advancements. The Minister of IRCC, Mark Miller, said it's absolutely critical to address the shortage the, sort, the shortage of skilled trade trades workers in the country. And part of the solution includes, includes 
hand solution includes helping the construction in this section helping the construction sector find the main and maintain the workers it needs is that all um no so go on <laughs> um the statement said canada's express entry system is now tailored to provide a streamlined and efficient pathway for individuals with expertise in the critical fields the category the category based se based selection rounds with continue throughout the year alongside the general invitation rounds and more details will be announced in the coming weeks this round of category this round of category based section recognizes these skilled trade workers as essential and i look forward to welcoming more of these talented individual individuals to canada is that all not yet canada looking to take in more skilled workers this comes barely two months after son fraser the former minister of ircc announced changes to ent express entry through category based selection the new process was aimed at welcoming newcomers with work and experience in priority jobs as prominent residents. The EE is an online system developed by the Canadian government to provide opportunities for, for skilled workers to obtain permanent residence from their countries. Thank you for having me. My name is Ricky Yusuf. Thank you, Rekia Yusuf. Rekia Yusuf, let me introduce her to you properly. She's one of my media correspondents. She's, uh, she's new. She's still on that training. So, uh, and we're not going to edit any of her videos. We're going to shoot it like that. So when she's watching it, she knows where to improve upon. I didn't allow her to do holiday job. I wanted her to work with me. So right now she's working with me. She's one of my media correspondents. I have my biggest media correspondence person who is going to show very soon. The masquerade is still warming up. She's our graphics designer. She's everything. But she's going to come up much later in some of our videos. She's a director in our company and she has been the one managing all our social media handles. So Rekia is just a recruit. Is it a recruit or what, what do we call you? Um, a new staff, a new employee. <laughs> a new employee. So how much is your salary? Um, <laughs> I would say the minimum wage, which is like fifteen dollars, sixteen, but less than twenty. You know. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much, Rekia. It's glad to have you. Ah, uh, one more thing I want to say now is, uh, with all seriousness, with all seriousness, that what I'm is big. With all seriousness, ah, uh, carpenters, plumbers, and welders, you are welcome to Canada. Please go through the normal procedure. If you are a trained carpenter, if you are a trained carpenter or a welder or a, plumb, a plumber, if you don't have the certificate to prove that you have done apprenticeship and you are good to go, please contact um, Zudas Education Center. We do vocational trainings from time to time. We're going to have a quick vocational program a, a good hub that will give everybody all the basic orientation and then we'll tell you how to go about it you have to apply i was told that the program is is it ee -E? something e -E. express entry yeah express entry so express entry and more details will be out soon please if you do have a relation in nigeria if you are watching us from canada you're watching us from Ghana, you're watching us from Cameroon. If you have relations back home that are carpenters, that are very good in what they are doing, please let them get certificates from the establishment or the organizations that trained them for apprenticeship and then let them start processing how to come to Canada. First of all, they should go obtain their international passport. You need your international passport.
you need um i don't know about proof of fund and all those stuff but we will give you more details as time goes on but you need the three basic things you need now is you need your international passport valid at least for more than six months you need to fill up the forms the basic forms that brings you in and then all your documents should be uploaded to irocc and then thereafter your biometrics letter will drop and when the biometrics letter drops you need to go for your biometrics you need to go for your biometrics but only adults do biometrics children are exempted so i believe since canada is the one calling the plumbers carpenters and the um welders they will make provision for family as well if their family is relocating with them we will know as time goes on when they bring out the details next week i'm still going to vlog on that but i want to say thank you very much for always watching our videos i appreciate you guys but remember to share please the more you share the more people will become aware of what is going on somebody may be struggling now the person may be well talented is a good carpenter you know uh, the person is a good plumber he doesn't know what to do share the video please subscribe to our youtube channel so you'll be the first to get information and you can use it to empower others don't say i'm already here i don't care about those at home please please that is the only way we can help i have said it over and over again sharing information with somebody who is not aware is is a sort of empowerment you are limited to what you know and the only way you can uh, uh, empower those that are in Africa is to let them know what's going on. Okay? So thank you very, very much. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Rikia. Thank you. And we hope to see you again. So what do you have to say to your viewers? They should learn a skill. Learn a skill. It could be sewing. It could be cooking. It could be, it could be fashion. Yeah. Fashion, welding, carpentry, plumbing. Learn a skill. Learn a skill. It Thank could be you. even making soap. Yes. Learn a skill. Learn a skill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rekia. <laughs>